The Bold and the Beautiful Recap Thursday, February 9, Steffi is witness for Thomas Hope predicts victory. The Bold and the Beautiful B and B Spoilers Recap for Thursday, February 9th reveals that Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang pushed Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen to say yes and move in with her. Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen worried about what would happen once Rich Forrester, Torsten K came home, but both Brooke and Taylor agreed they weren't putting their lives on hold for him. That said, Taylor thought Ridge would come back to Brooke if she'd have him destiny and all. There was a time when that was all Brooke thought about but she said she was done being chosen and wanted to do the choosing. Brooke insisted that right now, she was choosing to be the best friend she could possibly be for Taylor. After Brooke acknowledged there would come a time when a man was in each of their lives, she joked about making sure it wasn't the same man. However, Brooke and Taylor didn't think that would happen for a while. Taylor asked if Brooke would ever put her faith in a man again so Brooke admitted she didn't know what the future held. Brooke and Taylor agreed they weren't afraid of the unknown. As Taylor and Brooke added to their pact, they wanted to stop the rivalry cycle and be good role models for their granddaughters. Taylor was blown away by Brooke's offer to live together, but she needed some time to think about it. Since Brooke's friendship was helping her through one of the most difficult times of her life, Taylor assured her that she wasn't lonely. After relaxing in the hot tub, Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes would talk to John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, about her relief over Brooke's earlier phone call. Unfortunately, Steffi was still concerned about Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson and feared Douglas Forrester Henry Joseph Samory would never be able to look at him the same way. Finn acknowledged that although Thomas missed his son, Living with Liam Spencer Scott Clifton and Hope Spencer Annika Noel was the best thing for Douglas right now. Steffi agreed that Douglas needed stability and trust, but she worried Thomas might never be able to offer that. Despite everything, Steffi knew that Thomas loved Douglas and wanted to play a role in his life. At the cabin on Thursday is B&B episode. Douglas wrapped up a supervised visit with Thomas and went out to the car to get his basketball. That gave Thomas a chance to present some legal papers that he'd had drawn up. Thomas gave them to Hope since she wouldn't let him spend the night with his son and was dictating when he was able to see Douglas. Hope argued that Thomas didn't even have a house right now, but Thomas said he could buy one. Liam insisted that wasn't the point. But this was between Thomas and Hope as far as Thomas was concerned. Thomas wanted a fair agreement, so he suggested this could be handled in front of a judge as early as tomorrow. Thomas Papers proposed letting Douglas decide where he wanted to live and allowing him to chart his own destiny. Hope argued that Douglas was just a child, but Thomas said Douglas was way ahead for his age and thought the fair thing was for him to decide his own future. When Douglas returned with his basketball, Thomas assured his son of his love and hinted about seeing a lot more of him soon. After Thomas left, Hope and Liam sat Douglas down for an important talk about maybe making his living situation more permanent. Once Liam and Hope let Douglas know how much they adored him, Hope said Douglas could be honest no matter what. If there was a scenario where Douglas got to decide between living with his father and living there at the cabin, Hope asked what his heart would tell him. Douglas said he'd rather live there with Hope and Liam. So Hope hugged him and said they were going to work this out after Douglas was in the other room. Hope grew excited and thought Thomas was basically handing them full custody. Liam worried Thomas must have some trick up his sleeve, but Hope felt like these papers changed everything and said Douglas could be theirs tomorrow. Back at the Cliff House, Thomas showed up and asked Steffi if she'd be his witness. Steffi and Finn got updates on Thomas pushing for Douglas to decide who he lived with. Thomas noted that tomorrow they'd go before a judge. So Finn worried Thomas didn't realise how much that CPS call drama affected Douglas. Steffi agreed to be Thomas' witness like he requested, 
but she also felt he should prepare to be let down. You might lose complete custody of your son tomorrow, Steffi insisted as she feared bad news. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say some twists and turns are ahead in this legal battle. So stay tuned to B and B. Thank you for watching and stay with us for more update videos.